In this demo, we'll walk through the steps to connect the Big IP to Datadog using telemetry streaming. Once we do that, we'll visualize performance metrics using a sample dashboard that is available in the F5 Dev Central Analytics Vendor Dashboards repo. In addition to the sample dashboard, I've also included the sample AS3 and telemetry streaming declarations that were used in this demonstration. Let's take a quick look at the sample application. The public-facing virtual server provides load balancing with SSL offload and redirection. The back end consists of a very simple WordPress application. To start the configuration process, I'll turn my attention to my Datadog tenant. Before I start sending telemetry data from the Big IP, I need to create an API key in Datadog. The API key is required and will be used by the telemetry streaming service to submit metrics and events. From the organization settings, I'll navigate to API keys and select New Key. I'll provide a name for the key and select Create. With the key created, I'll copy its value for use later. With my Datadog tenant ready to start receiving telemetry, I'll configure the Big IP to start sending telemetry data. To accomplish this, I'll use Postman and F5's automation toolchain to post AS3 and telemetry declarations to the Big IP. AS3 enables the ability to declaratively manage several Big IP resources. In this case, I'll use AS3 to deploy the resources required to send telemetry data to an external consumer. Next, I'll apply my TS declaration. The declaration configures a system polar, listener, and the consumer. Guidance for the declaration, including specific guidance for the related data doc consumer that's used in this demonstration, is available on F5 Cloud Docs. Before I post the TS declaration, I'll update the API key to the value that I copied in the previous step. With that complete, I'll return to the Big IP to finish the streaming setup. Back on the Big IP, I'll update my virtual server configuration and associate the HTTP and TCP analytics logging profiles that were created using the AS3 declaration. Logging profiles, when assigned to a virtual server or servers, enables the capture and remote logging of telemetry data. In addition to TCP and HTTP, I could likewise associate various other service level logging profiles to capture WAF traffic, access, network firewall events, etc. With the logging profiles added to my application's virtual server, I should now be able to start visualizing metrics in my Datadog account. To enable quick visualization of my Big IP telemetry data, I'll import an existing Datadog dashboard from the Analytics Vendor Dashboards repo. I'll navigate to and copy the JSON formatted contents of the Big IP Performance Metrics dashboard file. Back on the Datadog UI, I'll select Dashboards and create a new dashboard. I'll provide an arbitrary name and create the Blink dashboard. From the Dashboard Settings dropdown, I'll select Import Dashboard JSON and paste my previously copied JSON to update the dashboard contents and title. With the dashboard created and updated, I'm now able to view performance metrics for my Big IP devices. In addition to serving as an example of how easy it is to visualize Big IP metrics, the Big IP Performance Metrics dashboard provides visualizations related to the system CPU, memory utilization, throughput, and other system performance metrics. For additional information related to F5's automation toolchain, including telemetry streaming, be sure to visit F5 Cloud Docs. To try out the sample dashboard, 
check out the Analytics Vendor Dashboard F5 Dev Central GitHub repo. My name is Greg Coward. Thank you very much.